Ilkay like was saying the other night, you may have seen the comments that after the penalty, the reaction wasn't great and it's, it kind of happened before. And for that reason, City can't be considered a great team yet. Is, is that something you think can, can be improved upon in the next few weeks or is it even something you agree with? Uh, well, first of all, I haven't seen the, sta the, the statement and you know, so I don't know what part of it was said in which way. But my opinion is simple. Um, we have 90 minutes still to, to just prove everything we are and who we are and, and how we want to, to be remembered. So um, after a game, you can be, you know, it's difficult sometimes to have the exact perspective when you just finished the game and you just feel as if the result and everything that's happened within that game is, 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 is the be all end all. But now uh, looking at it, God, it's a night of opportunities on, on Wednesday. I, I only see opportunities. I don't see any kind of reason to not embrace whatever's, whatever the situation is that lies ahead. Do you think the team, especially over the last 18 months, has proven a lot about their character and their ability? Yeah, but that's the great thing about sports. You, it doesn't matter what you proved. You always have to prove yourself again and again and again. And, and the only thing that you know for sure is that you get another chance every single time, whether it's not this season, then it's the season after. Maybe not as individuals, not as a player, because with age, you know, you, you run out of chances. But in terms of football clubs and in terms of how you need to approach it as a club, is, you know, just, just go for it and, and, then, and then, you know, go in it and leave it without having any regrets. And, and, and after a defeat, it feels like it's the end of the world, but you always get another chance and another chance and another chance. Yeah, you mentioned having the big games in this time of the season. Spurs next Wednesday, Spurs next Saturday, United after that. You don't need any extra motivation for that, do you? And I suppose that's an ideal position when you're in a title race. There's no opportunity to be complacent, is there? No, you, you need to embrace it. That's the only way I can look at this run of fixtures and, and think and make any sense out of it. You need to embrace it. and. And like I said, you, you look at the run of games and you think, difficult. But you look at every single game and break it down individually. And, and I see opportunities, you know. Um, and, and I'm sure it'll transpire to the team and, and I'm sure that's how we'll approach these games. I, I, I'm still amazed that some people sometimes misjudge our squad uh, and still think it's around individuals. Uh, you look back 18 months ago when we did some of the best performances that's ever been done in the Premier League and, and, and if you can name me one player that stood out for the whole year, it's impossible. We stood out for a couple of weeks, months, whatever, but in, ultimately it's a machine and it's the machine that's, that's brought us so far. So um, the manager never singles out anyone saying, you know, you're going to be the man for that game, you're going to be the man for this game. Uh, he knows that whenever he needs anyone in the team, he can just rotate the positions and, and based on form or whatever, he usually doesn't see a drop, you know, that's, that's the strength of this team.